Now let's start with random variable. So random variable is important in this section of probability. The definition says a real valued function having domain as the sample space associated with a random experiment. For that, I would like to see that this example fits clear in your mind. If you understand this type of example, then we will move forward to the definition. Suppose there is this bag and this bag has different different balls. You don't need to count the number of balls. That is just an approximate diagram. It says the bag has 5 red, 4 green, 8 white balls. Now, 3 balls are drawn and x denote number of green balls. So, if x denotes number of green balls which are here 4. So, if I have to talk about random variable. So, the random variable actually has some range. And that range will come out from this number. See, there are 4 green balls. That means if you have to take out the balls, how many balls can be taken? If x denotes the random variable, then x has some particular range. And that particular range is how many green balls can you take out? Probably 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 because at max, 3 balls are taken out. Now, it can be that you take out all 3 from red, so then it will be 0. Similarly, if you take out all 3 from white, it would be 0. If you take out 1 green, right, and then you say that rest you take out from other places, so only 1 green, similarly 2 and 3. Why I have not written 4? Because here it says 3 balls are drawn. So, at max, the 3 balls can be drawn, which can be green. So, in this manner, we say x is a random variable with a range as 0, 1, 2, 3, this set. Now, again, let's move to the definition. A real valued function. So, this is a real valued function having domain as the sample space. Now, domain is what? All the x elements, right? So, whatever the sample space would be there, the domain will be the sample space. And that is definitely associated with a random experiment. Hence, it is called as a random variable.